everybody. Welcome to a Wednesday edition of 7 Minutes of Saints. Uh, Andrew, before we get to Saints news and uh, analysis, can I just say I'm sad about free agency? Once the high, the sugar high of initial free agency, you have signings every five minutes. I'm checking PFT every 30 seconds. I'm checking Twitter. I'm texting you. It's like a drug. It's, I'm high on it. I'm, everybody's making moves. Now we're in the sad part of free agency where the biggest news is Randall Cobb signing with Dallas for $5, $5.50. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's funny. You convince yourself that you should have been in on a guy like that. I mean, I see that. I see that contract one year, $5 million. You can see every I, contract. I, Why couldn't the Saints sign him for $5 million? Yeah. Well, he's a good slot receiver every, if, he, if he's healthy, too. The Saints need that. So that that's a guy I would have wanted. Yeah. I mean, so the Saints' current news is uh, they're looking at Robert Quinn. Uh, he went to Dallas and had lunch with their defensive coordinator. So Dallas is pushing hard for him. Miami wants a draft pick for him. They're willing to redo his deal. Um, so do you think the Saints would be more inclined to trade for Robert Quinn than sign Ziggy Ansa? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the big X factor with all this is always health. You know, we don't know how that went, you know, and, and Ansa's shoulders messed up. And so there, there's a evaluation that needs to be made as to whether he can play or not, you know, or whether he's worth the investment that you would make. So I don't, we don't know how that went. And uh, the fact that they're poking around an Ansa means, or sorry, that they're poking around at Quinn means a couple things. Either, you know, they can't figure out the terms of, of pay or, um, he, his medical didn't check out like the Saints had hoped. And so um, I think it's concerning in terms of for Ansa. Now, this could also be gamesmanship and saying, hey, if you don't take our offer, we're looking at other guys, and that could be a way to maybe kind of nudge him along. So uh, we'll see what happens over the next few days. But as they visit with Quinn, I, I would give up a fifth-round pick for him. That's probably the most I would give up right now. Um, that's really all the Saints have. <laughs> Um, at least for this year, but uh, yeah, that, that's what I would give up. And uh, but I'd like to see him. I mean, either way, you know, I, I don't have a huge preference between the two players. I, I think they're both good, and I think they both help. You know, I think with Rankins being out the first part of the season, they, these guys don't play the same position. But I think you got you have to look at it as you know, where can we affect our pass rush? Where can we affect the passer? Uh, where can we improve uh, our pass rush? And it, it's almost like it doesn't matter what spot it's coming from. Um, but if you're upgrading your personnel overall, uh, you you can kind of see that as a win, mitigating the fact that you're going to be without Rankins to start the season. Yeah, and the thing is with Rankins, look, I know Okafor came back from the Achilles, and, and he was great, and he got another deal. The thing is, man, that Achilles injury, you don't know. Uh, you know, we think, oh, he'll be back in, in October, November, and, and it'll be, he'll be back. I mean, he might be back and not this. You know, he may be back and not the same dude until playoffs, hopefully, or he might not be the same dude until next year. And you just have to accept that and plan accordingly, right? Uh, I'm going to make a prediction to you, Andrew, that Jared Cook, wherever he signs, people are going to be like, wow, I can't believe he came that cheap. And if he doesn't sign with the Saints, Saints Twitter and Saints fans are going to be fucking livid because they're going to be like, the Saints couldn't give Jared Cook a one-year $4.8 million deal. Jesus Christ, man. Like, his, yeah. he, has, he has no market. Like, I feel well, confident I'm saying that. He hasn't, I haven't surprised he hasn't visited anywhere else, but I think there's a couple things. Um, you know, first of all, Jared Cook has been a chronic underachiever. His whole career, yeah. really. You know, he, he yep. has been, like, the prototypical tight end that should have been good and was a total disappointment everywhere he's gone. I mean, got, paid, got like, paid on spec two different times as yeah. a guy who was going to yeah. be good. I mean, you think Kobe Fleener was a disappointment? Like, Jared Cook's career is Kobe Fleener on steroids. Um, <laughs> now, now out of nowhere last year, he had a good year with the Raiders. Statistically, he put up a good season. And that's why I think there's intrigue. 
but he's 32 years old, and I, you know, now now he, everybody gets their big deal after their rookie contract. So you get paid at 26, 27. Now, well, he's 32, so you know it's possible there's not much of a market for him. But I, I would just caution. Uh, obviously, we're desperate for a tight end, and the Saints need one so badly that we'll, I mean, we'll take almost anything at this point. But uh, I would caution against getting too excited about a player like that. And if he comes at a favorable deal, then great. Um, but if he's asking for too much money, I, I think it's prudent for the Saints to, to not sign him. Now, they need someone there. Uh, I, I kind of think they need a free agent and a rookie regardless. So they're going to have to use free agency and the draft. Um, but if it's not him, maybe it'll be, you know, Austin Safarian Jenkins, and that's even less exciting uh, to me. But, but um, we'll see how it plays out. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's, at some point the Saints need to add a tight end. Um, you know, but kind of going back to Quinn, um, he's a guy that's 28. I mean, he's younger than Ziggy Ansah. So Ziggy's 30. Um, and Quinn's 28, and he had six and a half sacks last year. So um, he's a good know, he, he's a good player. He, he yeah. he's a weird player in that like the Rams had him, paid him a ton of money, and he never quite quite reached the height of the two years when he was in St. Louis. But even with the Rams post that, he was good. The, the, the Dolphins got him last year, and I remember last year when the Dolphins got him, we were like, man, the Dolphins got Quinn. Man, I wish the Rams, I wish the Saints would have called up for him because that was, you know, that was before Davenport came and we knew about Okafor. You know, Okafor was hurt, right? So, man, we were like, man, Robert Quinn's a good player. He's a good player, you know, and he, a lot of fans are like, well, if a player bounces around from team to team, does that mean he's, he's not any good because no one wants him? I mean, that's usually the case. But there are some kind of some players that bounce around from team to team for like weird circumstances, you know, like Brandon Cooks, right? The Saints had him; he was good. They traded him to New England for a first, and he doesn't take the extension from New England. So New England gets this amazing deal from the Rams to trade him for a first. So he goes to the Rams, and if you just looked at, it, you'd be like, "Man, that dude's on three teams. He's a diva. He's no good." But like circumstances sometimes for players as they move around can be the reason they move. And I think Quinn is one of those. Like, the Dolphins got him, but now they're in fucking full tank mode, and they want to get rid of him. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I also think um, guys like that, and I, I think you said it. You know, Miami is in liquidating their assets mode. So. Liquidate them. Everything must go. They need to stay, they just yeah. need to get their kick return or two. Maybe they can get a package deal. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Yeah, so, you know, hopefully uh, – Quinn's a guy that they can land. Uh, I, I would be all for it, but um, when you look at free agency right now, I still just think tight end and, and pass rusher are major, major needs. Yeah, it is, and we'll see what the Saints do. And by the way, this this episode we're making it free, so everybody listen. You should you should sign up. You should pay the seven dollars a month. We have given you double digit fucking extra podcasts during free agency. We'll probably do it during the draft as well, even though the Saints don't have pick, picks. And, you know, it's going to be July, Andrew. It's going to be July before you know it. And then you're going to be fired up, and you're going to want your Saints news every freaking day, and we're going to deliver it to you. So pay the $7 a month. Do it, and we appreciate it. We appreciate you all. Uh, we'll see you later today or tomorrow.